Okay, I'm out at the range today. Today I'm going to be talking about the Sig Sauer uh, Spectre Comp. I have the Spectre Comp slide with the tin barrel. Um, I have a new uh, EPS, uh, actually really not new for me, but new on this gun. Uh, EPS Carry Holosun Optic Sight uh, with two MOA dot. Um, I have it on top of my Icarus Precision uh, grip frame, uh, which is just sort of the XL uh, grip frame. Um, so we're just going to see how it performs today, um, see if we can tell if any difference in the muzzle rise. Um, I have an XL um, system. I can't do a side-by-side because -side I have something else on the XL, um, but we're just going to do it today. What I'm going to start off with is first shooting the Remington uh, Golden Saber uh, bonded 124 grain bullet. You have to bear with me. Uh, bear with, please bear with the gunfire in the background. My apologies. Hopefully I've got this microphone working and and, uh, we'll so, got the optic sighted in, and, and we'll give it a try and see what we can, we can do with the muzzle flip, or see what it means. So, just a few rounds. Um, I threw maybe one of them off just a little bit, but... Uh, you know, hand size group here at 10 yards. Uh, maybe I'll pause the camera and go up and just take a look. So just coming up, take a look. You can see I've been using this target already a lot. These are the six shots. One, two, three, four, five, six. I was going rapid fire. Those easily are in the palm of my hand. I was aiming for this dot. Maybe the dot's a little low. Maybe I'm uh, anticipating just a little bit. Don't know. Obviously one flyer there. Um, but for self-defense, that's probably how I'm going to be rapid firing them off. I'd say that's a pretty good group. It also felt pretty manageable. Again, that's plus P ammo. So I think that's uh, maybe a, an element to the Spectre comp is when you're shooting 9mm, everybody says, oh, it's just as powerful. Oh, it's just as powerful as Smith & Wesson. Well, no, it's not. And But one of the reasons people do say that is when you get this new plus P ammo, it'd be pretty powerful. Well, that causes a lot more kick in these micro nines that can cause a problem with your accuracy, with your ability to do follow-up shots. So if you're going to carry a nine, you want the nine power, you got to go with the plus P. Well, that's where these comps come in. They come in and help you manage the recoil, pretty strong recoil and little tiny guns. So let's keep shooting, see how we do with some other ammo. Okay, next up, I just have some hand loads. These are uh, some personal defense hand loads. Um, these are Horner DXTP and uh, loaded pretty hot. Um, looking at some of my other other uh, measurements around 1200 feet per second. So this is very similar kind of load to this and really why I built them because I wanted them as practice loads. Um, but very similar to this Remington Golden Saber. It is the XTP bullet, which is different from the Golden Saber, but 124 grain plus P loading in 1200, 1250 really out of depending on the barrel um, uh, out of it. I just want to see how it performs, how the recoil looks. I also have my lab radar set up. Uh, so I'll just get some measurements and see what the performance is out of this 3.1 inch barrel. Hey, 10.50, not much performance. 10.46. All right, so a fair bit of uh, step off in that uh, barrel length, um, which is interesting. I have to do some other comparisons. Either maybe my hand loads aren't as good as I thought they were, or, or uh, you know, maybe they're missing something. I'll just do a couple of uh, shots to compare what that uh, bonding golden saber is. Um, let me put a couple of rounds in that. And we'll just get a comparison. Okay, bonded Golden Sabres, Remingtons. 1060. It is the same. 1099 or 999. That's kind of a low one. 1081. Well, that one was kind of a bad one from from Remington, they sheesh, went down to under a thousand. The rest of them are 100 feet per second higher than that one. Um, some interesting findings. But at any rate, 
not what I'm testing today, might be useful for, for someone. Um, looks like it's pretty consistent, which is what I, I built that ammo for, so that makes me feel good. Um, but a little bit of uh, taper off with this 3.1 inch barrel. I had built them on, a, on four and five inch barrels, uh, the loads up, and that's where I was getting those higher velocities. Um, at any rate, loving the, loving the comp. Let me try some other rounds. Let me try some 115 grain and some 147 grain. Just see if we can see the difference in the in the recoil or see how it's how it's shooting it. Um, I've got some lawman in here. Uh, these are spear. Um, I think just sort of full metal jacket uh, type rounds with a flat nose, uh, full metal jacket. Let's load in five of them. Let's see what we get. We shoot this lawman ammo, 147 grain. Um, they aren't spicy rounds. In fact, they're often I use them with my silencer or suppressor because um, they're they're uh, not going to be going very fast given the 147 grain. They're so they're subsonic. Um, but let's load it up. See how uh, it happens. Works with the Spectre Comp. To check functionality and then see how a little bit of the muzzle flip. See the Spectre Comp is performing. Uh, glad to see that uh, no issues with that. Finally, I want to. Uh, this is what a lot of people, most people shoot, is sort of the plain Jane 115 grain um, full metal jacket Winchester. Um, you know the, the sur surprise boxes. So the 147 grain. course the velocity's up uh, those are around 150 as well but 115 grain versus the 124 grain that are all the more plus p um, uh, type loads but uh, some interesting findings i think this uh, x macro is a keeper really like having the hollow sun eps on it eps carry um, it fits pretty well um, just a little bit of hangover on the edge just make sure that i'm getting that little bit of hangover on the edge you can see it's just dangling off the pistol a little bit I've got to make sure I'm not breaking the 180 on the range keeping safe um, so yeah love that fit love the enclosed optics for keeping uh, all the belly button length from your concealed carry gun out of it let me know what you think please like share and subscribe trigger bar philosopher out